Hello and welcome to Pocket Gaming Up Biz. This is our first time user experience channel. Um, this is where we play free to play mobile games for the first time, the first time user experience, and see what they're like. So, the game we're playing today is um, EA's Minions Paradise. So, we'll just kick it off, start the stopwatch. So, we play the, um, the whole point of the first time user experience is it's um, kind of to get an idea of, of how the game onboards players for the first time. So, it goes through the tutorial, starts to explain the um, systems of the game. Obviously, 10 minutes isn't particularly a long period of time. People who are going to play games uh, potentially for days, months, weeks, years. Um, but it gives a good idea of what's going on. So, can we skip this? So, interestingly, okay. So, you all know Minions from the uh, Despicable Me film. Here we've got an unskippable trailer. Kind of interesting from a, from a user experience point of view. Obviously they're putting this in so you're forced to see the narrative, but um, if you've already seen it on YouTube, like some people will have done, it's a bit dull. And obviously if, if you download a game, what happens when you want to download a game? Do you want to start playing the game? You're not particularly bothered about the setup, which is that there's some minions and they crash their ship and now they find themselves on an island. But it's a funny video, so there we go. So there's a the setup. <coughs> so the interesting thing, well, one interesting thing about this game is it's been in soft launch, so it's been available uh, while EA has been testing it out for a long, long time. So the film came out. We assumed the game was going to come out with the film, um, and it didn't. <laughs> so um, that's not normally a great sign that a game. Um, Oh, enter my age. Okay, let's put a random one in. Wasn't that far off? What should we say we are? Okay. So it's asked me already for push notifications. That's quite surprising, really. Normally people are putting that, that um, request slightly deeper into the game. Okay, so here we go. Phil, I'm going to redeem myself, turn it into Minions Paradise. So this is a going to be a kind of resource type farming game, I imagine. So we can see obviously the minions are going to be and a key part of it, their little uh, hilarious attitude. Okay, Phil. So let's give it a cool name. Where are the bananas, eh? That's what we're on there, okay. So obviously this is a game that's going to have a very, you'd imagine, a very young audience, so it's, I guess, compared to other games, it's really uh, spoon-feeding you the stuff. Okay, so we've got a task. Place a paradise piñata and play on... Place a building, drag it. Does it want us to drag it? Okay. And that will earn us party points. Okay, so it looks like this is a resource. Free doubloons make everything faster. So that we're kind of seeing the uh, economy here. So doubloons are going to speed things up. So that's a typical, we see that in lots of games, don't we? Um, there's a timing gate on making stuff. Tap distractive, call minion, collect buy points. Got it. So that's making him happy. Yeah, we are. We've done our piñata, so we've got some party points and some sand dollars. What the heck? Oh, these are sand dollars there. Okay, thank. So three resources, one of which is <laughs> 
Phyllis unlocked the coconut. I was inspired. I'm not. Okay, I'm not gonna skip that either. Yeah. <laughs> Fun the first time, probably not the second time. Have three coconuts. The task. So using our minions as a bit of resource. Have some more free doubloons to get them faster. Okay, so obviously the, this game is encouraging us to uh, use the hard currency to get stuff done. No, I think that's confirm. That's interesting. I guess that's the farming, the farming aspect. So we're starting to see how the how how the kind of game progression happens. So six minutes in, we can see Stuart's coming. Welcome, boss. Stuart. Okay, so we're gonna see. So this looks like a bit more of a long-term task. A few things we're going to need to do. FT minions are funny, aren't they? They just are funny. Now. There we go. If a game with them all the time becomes less funny, who knows? But they're probably funny. Um, I guess the problem with a lot of a lot of games in the tutorial is it's just very dull and it's kind of showing you things to do, and it's. Um, you don't get a chance really to do anything of your own. You're basically being spoon fed everything. <laughs> of course, he's going for a bit. <laughs> it's gone. Still only third of the way through. Oh, can we get rid of that? Oh. So, maybe that's just happening. Did we do that? So no one's going to do it now I expect. And off we go. Do we supposed to be tapping to get the... Oh no. I'm just doing it anyway, am I tapping? Missed. Okay, so it gives you a bit more interest in doing it if you've got to tap at the right point, which I can't do. <laughs> doing it at a funny angle, of course, it makes it much harder. Okay, we get the idea. Okay, so the final thing, let's have a quick look. So we've got the um, quick look here. So, fairly standard. Um, I guess in terms of monetization, we're buying resources, so we're buying sand dollars. We're buying the the harder currency up to a hundred dollars, eighty pounds in UK money. So it's pretty straightforward, and this is kind of acting as a leveling up. Are they still doing this? Oh, okay, so we've got a bit of an idea um, how how Paradise Minions is uh, progressing. So in the store, there's also also a starter pack. Interesting, that's locked at the moment. And obviously the game, we went in to have a look at the store, the game didn't take us into the store, so um, it's, it's, I guess a, you'd have a game that's going to be more focused on kids that are going to be more careful about monetization. But you can see it's kind of colourful, it's the characters and minions as you'd expect it to the fore. So, um, yeah, I think a fairly, a fairly strong uh, tutorial there um, for the first ten minutes of the game. I think that would encourage people to play some more, so we'll, uh, we will do that, continue, give it another play. 
um, and come back to our YouTube channel where we'll have another video a bit later on looking a bit more um, seriously at the monetization and, and how the game is looking to make money. So come back, check it out, subscribe to pocketgamer.biz on YouTube and we'll see you soon. Bye.